Hey guys, Ogud here. Uh, today I'm going to show you a strategy that me and my crew worked out for the mission Crystal Clearout on GTA Online. Um, I think the rank of the mission is around rank 20 or so. You get it from Trevor. Uh, and there's a few things you need to do beforehand before you can start making a bunch of money off this. The first thing you need to do is you need to buy yourself a Sea King. It's a little jet ski. It's $16,000. Uh, you could buy it online. I think you might have to be ranked 12 to buy it, but I'm not sure. But anyways, after you buy the Sea King, you have to drive it up the map, through the canal that I'm showing you, and into the lake that this mission takes place at. Uh, once you're the Sea King, you're good to go. Alright, so here's the strategy. Uh, you only need two players for this. Um, pretty much one person drives the Sea King up to the dock, and the other player jumps off. Now the player that jumps off, he's going to have to shoot a guy at the top of the dock, uh, and that's pretty much all he has to do. Shoot the dude at the top and collect the coke. Um, once you have the coke, the player just jumps off the dock. Let's wait a sec. My buddy just jumped in behind me. He's swimming towards me. He jumped off the dock onto the back of the Sea King and you just kind of rock it off to the other side of the lake where the drop-off point is. Um, again, you need two players to do this. Uh, we have a third player in the session with us, but he's not really doing anything. He's just blowing up the boats behind me, but uh, you don't even need to blow up those boats. But yeah, um, just take the coke, head to the drop-off point. Now, there's a few things that you need to do to make sure the Sea King always stays there for the mission. Um, the person who's driving, make sure it's their personal vehicle. Uh, I'm driving, and this is my Sea King. And whenever you drop someone off, like I'm about to drop off my buddy, uh, you have to drive the Sea King back to where the mission will start because it's not going to spawn near you. You kind of have to drive it back to where you want to park it. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to truck yourself to the other side of the lake and pick it back up. So right now, I'm just looking at my map watching my uh, friend, crewmate, get close to the drop-off point. Um, if their boats didn't get destroyed, like if you don't have a third person to de destroy the boats, the boats will chase after you, but uh, only when you get close. So now that my friend's getting close to the drop-off point, I'm going to start gunning it. And on my way back, I'm going to zip right past the enemy boat. But since you're going so fast on the Sea King, they probably won't do any damage to you. Or if they do shoot you, it's maybe only once or twice. It's not a big deal. So. But, uh, yeah. There they go. That was the enemy. Now I'm just gonna pull this into my parking area over here. This is really close to where the mission will start you off once you replay the mission. Uh, you can see on the map where it is. Just park it right there. And then, once you're parked, have your friend drop off the coke. And he just dropped off the coke. And mission complete. You make an easy 10 Gs off that. And again, maybe takes two minutes or less to do it. But yeah, there you go. Have fun.